Hey there, in this video we're going to explore the mirror tool. And this is a fairly simple tool, so it shouldn't take us too long to kind of get through. But I just wanted to show you how it works, just in case you are curious about using it. Sometimes we need to duplicate things, and um, in order to get some symmetry, we may need to kind of flip them over um, to a different orientation. Um, if you don't know what that means, that's perfectly fine. Just, you know, um, continue along and take a look at how the mirror tool works. But if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So let's actually just grab a shape here. I'm going to grab this little roof shape, okay, which is a triangular prism, just in case you're curious. All right, and just make it a little bit bigger here. All right, so the, sometimes we have the um, need to kind of mirror flip things. So let's take a look at how that works. If I select a shape, I can go up here to the toolbar on the right hand side and you'll see two triangles opposed to each other with a, a line in the middle and that's the mirror tool. So essentially what we're doing is a reflection, if you're familiar with that terminology, over a particular line of symmetry. All right, now. If, I just completely lost you on that. That's fine. You can just continue watching the video and get a sense for what I mean. So the mirror tool is going to help us flip things. And uh, you can see there the keyboard shortcut is M. So if I click on this or I click M, what's going to happen is I'm going to get these little arrows that pop up on the screen. And you'll see three of them. Each of them is a direction. Um, over which I would like to flip. So in which direction would I like to flip? There's different orientations. This is a three-dimensional object. There's three dimensions uh, over which I can, or through which I can flip the shape. So the one on the bottom here is asking me, do I want to flip it left to right? All right? So there's a line going through the middle of the shape. Envision it. Envision a line going through the middle, and I want to flip it over that line in the middle. Now this shape is very symmetrical and if I drew a line straight down the middle you could see that both halves are pretty much the same. So if I actually click on this you'll notice it gets red when I hover and it shows me some lines. It shows me a preview actually of what's going to happen. If I click it it doesn't appear that anything's really happening. That's because the shape is very symmetrical. Uh, over here on the left this is going to flip the sh shape um, forward to back as far as I'm looking at it right now. You would envision a line going through it this way and if I mirrored it, uh, reflected it over that line, uh, what would it look like? And again, it's the same because it's very symmetrical. This one though, on the other hand, is up and down and this one is not symmetrical up and down as I look at it. Uh, so if I hover over that, you see that the arrows become red and now you can see kind of an outline of what I will get for this shape if I actually click that. So if I do click that, you'll see that it was actually flipped over and now the pointed side is down as opposed to pointed up. And that's because there's kind of an invisible line drawn through the middle of the shape this way. Um, and that's how it was flipped over. So I can click M again here and I can get it back to normal. Now let's actually explore that a little bit more. I'm going to rotate this shape just a little bit here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and engage that mirror tool again. So now that the shape is, is reoriented, you'll notice that the ways that I can flip it are still the same. All right, They didn't move with the object at all. They're staying permanent. So it's, it's over the different uh, what are called axes that we have. So if you're in middle school or high school, you probably start to learn about axes uh, on a graph, x-axis, y-axis, and in a three-dimensional shape, we have a, a z-axis as well. So these are the axes, if you will, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. They're not going to change even though your shape's orientation will. Okay, so that's important to understand that it's not flipping based on the orientation of the shape, but it's based on the major lines, which we call axes. So if I go ahead and I hover over the one at the bottom now, which is going left to right, you'll see see that I'm actually going to end up with a slightly different shape. That's because if you envision there are a line going straight up and down, it's going to flip it over that. So it's going to basically provide me with that shape. So still same shape, it's just flipped, right? Now if I hover over this one, you'll see again 
that it is going to be a little bit different because the orientation has changed a little bit. So in this particular one, we're looking at a line going across this way. It may be confusing since we're going this way. Uh, the line is going this way because we're flipping it that way. If it doesn't make sense. That's perfectly fine. Um, but if I click it now, you'll notice that it actually rotates. You'll notice that these two actually produce what looks like similar structures, and that's just because there's so much uh, uh, symmetry within the shape itself. And then two, uh, we could also do it over the z-axis, up and down, and we would get that flip as we had it before. Okay, so that's the mirror tool. Now let's just take a look at something a little bit different. Uh, some of you may have play, played around with the scribble tool. It seems to be a very popular tool, although, quite frankly, I never seem to get very much use out of it. But the scribble tool allows you to kind of bring in this shape. It won't stay like that. Once you place it, it brings up this whole new screen, which allows you to basically freehand draw something. So I'm just gonna draw something weird okay and then when you're done after the preview you see it you can also erase and stuff like that you can do different things here that's not really the point of this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and get that shape on my uh, work plane the the major idea here is I wanted something that wasn't exactly so symmetrical so let's click this and we'll engage the mirror tool uh, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut M Okay, there are our tools again. And we'll notice now if I hover over this, this is really flipping that shape left to right, right? So um, this little peak up here is gonna end up over here, and this little chunk over here is gonna end up over there. So if I click that, yeah, that's exactly what I get. Now if I flip this way, if I mirror it this way, I should expect everything that's down at the bottom to end up at the top, and everything at the top to end up at the bottom. So let's take a look there. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. And then, interestingly enough, if I use this tool um, or this set of arrows in order to flip it uh, vertically up and down, you actually notice I don't really get anything different. And that's because if you kind of slice it through the middle there, it's actually the same on the top and the bottom. So when I when I mirror it, there's really no change there. So you can actually use a combination of these things to kind of come up with some creative uh, mirroring if you want. All right, and it's there to help you if you need it. So that's the mirror tool.